banned. Twitter bans Roger Stone while protecting leftist haters. Roger Stone's Twitter account is suspended. My name is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your iTrend for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the iState YouTube channel. Hit that big red subscribe button right there, and after you hit the subscribe button, hit the big bell so you get notices when we make our next video. That's right. If you haven't subscribed by now, you know, you're never going to remember it as one of the cutting-edge people who got in before this thing exploded. So let's get to the eye trend of the day. Roger Stone just woke up dead. Well, metaphorically, not literally. The conspiracy-laden, hot-headed firebrand who also regularly appears on InfoWars, Roger Stone, just got news that no one wants to see. Twitter has decided to purge its platform of Roger Stone after he attacked CNN fake news host Don Lemon, who continues to shamelessly shill for Hillary and the DNC on an almost daily basis. Roger had enough of the lemon squeeze, so he did what any sane or, <laughs> or even semi-sane for that matter person might do. He let the fake news troll have it right in the feels with a vicious, I mean, <laughs> I mean a vicious, vicious Twitter attack. In the attack, Stone said to Lemon, stop lying about the Clintons and uranium, you ignorant lying C-O-V-K sucker. Kafka soccer? I don't know. Is it somehow this has to be related to Kafevi, though? I'm sure of that. You fake news, you dumb piece of SHI. Well, you at the last letter, because I'm decent. I won't do it. Stone wrote in one tweet Jake Tapper must be held accountable for his lies and very severely, severely punished. And then uh, he had this clever hashtag, which I will repeat for theatrical purposes only. Hashtag fake news ass wipe. <laughs> I mean, you, <laughs> you got to give him points there. That is some creative hashtagging. I admire the hashtagging. So he also went after the kinder, gentler, but just as fake news trolley Jake Tapper. <laughs> Actually, and I, and I quoted him, but <laughs> when he says he must be severely punished, that, that is, I like, that's open-ended. He's not directly threatening him. He just say he must be severely punished. I, I wonder what his definition of must be severely punished is. Maybe it's a uh, uh, timeout in the room, uh, in, the, in the newsroom. I don't know. So in response to this, this... This heartless, insensitive diatribe. The SJW-run Twitter team must have gotten together in a bruised panic with butt-hurt potentials at a critically high level. The team decided to suspend Roger Stone's Twitter account. And it's obvious that they needed to protect these gentle fake newscasters from having to face critically high levels of butt hurtiness at being called bad names by Roger Stone. So at the time of the suspension, Roger Stone had over 800,000 followers on his Twitter account. And as InfoWars points out, Twitter doesn't seem to really have a problem with people viciously attacking other people on Twitter. As a matter of fact, if you're the right kind of person, someone who fits into their heavily SJW leftist bias perspective, you can even wish people dead and still not have to worry about getting your Twitter account suspended. So they they showed a few tweets here. They show, uh, uh, I'm just a Mel. Uh, uh, who said, interesting how Roger Stone was suspended, but Lib Blue Check accounts are free to say whatever vile things they want with no consequences. And she took a, 
a screenshot of a couple of them. Uh, Monisha Rojas, who said, it's about time for a presidential assassination. And Kevin Allred said, Trump is an epic joke. This is all a sham. I wish someone would just shoot him outright. And Indian Knight wrote, the assassination is taking such a long time. And, uh, of course, uh, we had uh, uh, Ryan Saavedra, who said, Twitter bans Roger Stone, but they don't have a problem with this tweet. And they show a, a diss tweet of, of Dane Rauschenberg, who said, when lying, even pathologically, has zero rig percussions. F you, Ted Cruz, you vile lizard scrotum. Your death would be celebrated gladly. And then Julian Assange added, Twitter has suspended Roger Stone after saying CNN hosts are lying. His words, cocksuckers. However, explicit calls for my and Soden's, Soden, Snowden's assassinations are just fine. And of course, the famous Keith over Keith Oberman tweet in which he said, F you real Donald Trump, Nazi, Nazi, F Nazi, Nazi, racist, Nazi bigot, go up yourself, effing Nazi effers. Ah, ah. But nothing, nothing happened there. there. There's more to this in, in the article, which I will link in the description as well as the, the corner. <laughs> How do I get the, there we go. There we go. Corner right up there. There we go. Corner right up there. You can read back. And I'm I'm just going to say, well, first off, Roger Stone is going to be suing Twitter. I'm 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 not sure. I don't know what grounds that he could be possibly uh suing Twitter on. But but I spoke about this in the YouTube video that I did. Well, the video on YouTube that I did where I said the death of YouTube the the birth of CorpTube. Well, Twitter is is going the route of 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 YouTube, and and basically, I say if Twitter wants to further torpedo its brand and and hasten the rise of microblog competitors that will at least consistently enforce their rules, thus giving people more predictability and assurance of stability than they have on Twitter today, especially if they're right of Stalin, then I say have at it, Twitter. Just just do what you say. So in a nutshell, Twitter will be at best a, a left-sponsored business failure that will cater to a lefty crowd whose significance in the world will be dimmed with each passing year. The same fate that, that awaits YouTube. Unless, of course, both of, of course, both of them decide to reverse course. And, uh, I mean, you, you, you can do one of two things. You can relax your your insane rules i'm going to call them subjectively insane or you can consistently enforce your rules for everyone no matter their belief systems so this has been your i trend of the day my name is paul gordon with istate.tv don't forget if you like what we do go to our youtube channel right here youtube.com slash istate and hit that big red subscribe button like that. And then after you hit the YouTube red subscribe button, hit that bell. Get notified about every new video just like that. And then you see that and you know that you are subscribed and you will be notified.